Welcome back everybody to another video. Today we're doing something a little different. I've never done one of these before, but we're gonna do a broadhead review. And we're gonna be reviewing Tooth of the Arrow broadheads. Apparently, these are supposed to be pretty awesome. The, according to the packaging, it says that it's made in the USA. It's heat treated for toughness and strength. And it's 100% true single piece. These are 125 grain and apparently it's all from one piece of machined steel, as you can see on the back of the packaging. Now, before we get into the testing part, if you guys check out the link down in the description, you can get $10 off your order, so be sure to check that out. So what we're gonna be doing today is, we're gonna be doing a sharpness, out of the box sharpness test. We're gonna be doing accuracy. We're gonna be doing a durability test, shooting it at a cow bone, seeing what it does, followed by edge retention. I'm not going to do a penetration test. Penetration tests are totally indicative on the bow setup and the arrow setup. What kind of penetration I get versus what you might get is gonna to be totally different. That's why I, I just, I never really buy into the whole penetration test they see almost every other review video have. So how I'm gonna be doing this sharpness test, because I don't have one of those fancy sharpeners that uh, measure the amount of pressure needed to break a piece of thread is I'm going to test this the same exact way I would test a hand sharpened broadhead for the broadheads that I use. Just simple, take a piece of paper. This is gonna be the difficult part, is getting a good edge. It'll go a little smaller there. And just seeing how easy it cuts paper. And it, it cuts it pretty good. It definitely, I wouldn't say it's as sharp as my hand sharpened broadheads, but it cuts paper with very little to no force. I really, I can't make a whole lot of force here, but it's, it's cutting it very easily. One of the best ways to tell, take the hair, it's going to be a little difficult with it being a four blade. See if it'll cut. Uh, it's really hard to get a good angle, but I do have hair all over the broadhead now. So it does cut hair. I'm not pushing hard. It's just hard to get a good angle, but it does cut hair so it's fairly sharp I would give it probably an 8 out of 10 it would benefit from a little bit of hand sharpening to make it a 10 out of 10 but I'm pretty crazy about how sharp my broadheads are but for out-of-the-box sharpness it's really good and I just noticed it actually comes with a little broadhead holder so that way when you screw it on you're not grabbing it I have never seen anybody else send that so the sharpness is there it's for sure there like i said it takes little to no effort to cut a piece of paper i'm not even putting tension on that piece of paper and it's cutting it that's just me running it up the blade oh, now it doesn't want to do it that's all right it, it's better than I thought. That's pretty sharp. All I'm doing is running it near the blade and it's cutting it. So the next thing I'm going to do is our accuracy test. Down there, I have a paper plate with a little black, with a little black dot on it. We're going to use that as a visual aid. I'm going to shoot two at a time. Pack came with three, but we're saving one broadhead specifically for the durability test. And then that one will also be used for edge retention. <laughs> yeah. Toast my ghost. All right. Well, it looks like the accuracy is there. I mean, I ruined a broadhead shooting two at a time like an idiot. I hardly ever do that. So, I sorry, I did not ruin a broadhead. I ruined an arrow because the broadheads got too close together and they cut one of the fletchings off. So, we are now going to do 
the durability test. I have one of my dog's bones. I am on short supply of deer shoulder, unfortunately. I'm just gonna see what happens. Hopefully I can hit it. Yeah, it's a pretty beefy bone. It's like a leg bone, so. Little worried about what this is gonna do to it, but. Holy crap, guys. What happened? I think we broke the bone. Broke the bone, the knock fell out. Let's see what happened to the broad head. Whoo! There's some chattering and stuff on it, but hopefully you guys can see that. Broad head is reasonably unaffected. Try to get this thing to focus. The point, it's a little mold. Nothing crazy. There's just one edge that looks, it's got some chattering on it, but the other edges look great. Wow, I'm shocked. I only broke, lost a knock. My arrow's okay. Broadheads, I definitely wouldn't shoot it again, but Man, it went right through that bone. That's a beefy bone. Here's what it did to the bone. Sorry if uh, I'm kind of rushing right now because it's about to storm. But yeah, here's what it did to the bone. Look at that. And it knocked it to pieces. Unbelievable. I really didn't think it was going to do that. I was really worried about just shattering the crap out of my arrow, but... It's like just the knock came off. Everything else seems fine, which is no big deal. It was just a normal knock. But yeah, let's go check that edge retention on that specific broadhead. All right, I have our broadhead here. Piece of paper. It's definitely not going to be as sharp, but still cuts paper real easy. Mind you, the paper's getting wet because it's starting to pour down rain, but it's cutting it, cutting it, cutting it. That's, that's definitely the one that took, I think, the blunt of the force there. Thoroughly impressed with these broadheads. I, uh, I didn't know what to expect, but we shot a cow bone. And it's, it's still pretty freaking sharp. Very impressive. So be sure to check the link down in the description for $10 off your order. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what you think about me doing these review videos. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun. So thank you guys. Peace.